60R is getting very dirty very quick. Some of the base layouts have got all front loaded, like in the thumbnail. Some of them have got them all spread out. Some of them have got a bit of a mixture of both. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can beat all of them. And we're gonna do it right now. For tech so far, this is what his tech tree is looking like at 2 ER. He skipped Zookas, uh, maxed the rocket launchers, obviously. Tick one, crystal shield. Uh, max flamethrowers, uh, max rifles. We've got all the boosts and that all max. Tick four flare. We've got tick four cavan, which is one of the important ones for this one. Max arty, max critters. Max Bombardiers, Shocks and Shock Mines, obviously all Max as well. Taking the Rockets on the Multi-Node. Then in 5ER, he's got Max Seekers. Not sure he's using them so much these days, but uh, he maxed them earlier on anyway. Taking the Micro from the Multi-Node. Obviously, that's two Counter Seekers. Tick four Shock Launchers. And then he's opened up 6ER. And obviously, the next unlock is going to be Barrage when he gets the keys. So for his attacks, as you can see here, this is on a spread out layout. This one's got the Doom Cannon and the Micro. Using Rifle Bombardier with Kavan uh, Second Wind. As always, Always with rifle gramps the idea is to keep the rifles out front gramps in the back slowly but surely feed those rifles into the battle especially on the more clumped bases and we'll get to that in a sec as you can see he's cleared out the front he's flared around to the side rocket launchers are hurting quite a bit obviously with the shock bomb and stuff like that that helps the micro he doesn't need to worry too much about because he's not using seekers and gramps will outrange the seekers all day long uh, using crystal shield and second wind to get us through to the last er this one is a traditional style clump layout as you can see he's coming in from the left hand side with one boat of rifles and then all of his gramps and then slowly but surely he's feeding in another boat and then another boat of rifles this is just to give you that long slow trickle of troops into the battle because what you don't want to do is you don't want all of your rifles here at the start and they're all going to melt on the first couple of rows of defenses and they'll be no good to you at all or you'll be re relying on second wind all the way as you can see kavan taking a nap and um, so he's got no kavan left on this one now so this trail of rifles is all he's got left to help him get through this one uh, but as you can see because he staggered that drop you can slowly let them feed in to the battle slowly and then he's just relying then on his shock bombs to keep the rocket launchers and the boom cannons and stuff pinned down and critters on the mines as you can see he'll get down to the last er down here once this boom cannon and the shock launcher is gone he's pretty much on easy street you can get onto that last er for the full clear more luck than judgment on that one i agree okay so this one is one of the ones that's all spread out nice and wide he got kind of unlucky on this one uh, the idea here was he was wanting the bottom troops here to go right over this way he did have a another boat of rifles to come in here to help him come up this side but what what happened was he was really unlucky what happened here was after they took out this flamethrower all of his gramps then targeted the boom cannon because it's closer to them than what the er is up here so he's unlucky because the gramps then came around this way which kind of ruined the hit they got the win anyway he let them just find find their own paths using his gb and stuff to help him on the way around uh super warriors there at the end as well as for martin's layout as you can see it's a little bit different to what most people are running right now uh he's obviously got the doom cannon and the micro down here to kill off the early troops counter seekers and that as well got all the mines and that strategically placed to take out gramps boom mines to take out the seekers uh, once they've cleared this bottom stuff they then got to walk around the big gap whichever way they go left or right they got to walk around the big gap this rocket launcher here can cover both sides the rocket launcher up there can cover both sides obviously um, and then he's got the shock mines in here as well to help counter those seekers the main the main time suck on this one is that walk around the gap once they've cleared all this stuff down the bottom as you can see he is a really dirty layout he has got all the buildings he's got all the defenses and all that and they're all maxed as well so his troops you know his opponents are going to take the extra time to uh chew through those buildings and then waste the time on the walk but it's paying off for him like i said he's almost at he has been to rank 20 so yeah well from here he'll uh, probably show what he's up to on his live stream later if you're not quite at 6 er yet if you're still in 5 er and you want to learn how to seek of the bases down there like an absolute boss and get some of the fastest times at all this season check out the video that's on screen right now that one there will show you exactly how to do that but that's it from me for this one guys i will catch you in the next one help us out smash the subscribe button i'll see you later peace